Hello, Virgo. Let's get you guys reading going for you today. Doing a, another timeless reading for you, Virgos. Last time we dealt with the time frame, being very smitten with you and strategically planning on how to come to you, come towards you, and let you know about that energy. We do have Mars and Venus um, energy coming up soon here in Virgo. So this should be really, really interesting. And these energies that are coming in for us Virgos, we're going to feel it, especially if you have Virgo as your sun sign, which I do. You're definitely going to feel these next coming in energies. We have the Spirit Animal Oracle deck here. I want to get a card for you guys from this deck. Go into some tarot. Raccoon, inventor. <laughs> that is very indicative to the Virgo energy. If I do say so myself, decide on what you really want. You have the ingenuity to claim it. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. You have many roles and can juggle them well. <laughs> ah, that is me all day. That's it. It is what it is. And the wolf under their pathfinder. Hmm. Spirit calling us out as Virgos. I am Virgo Sun Sun. I never take these readings as my own as personal. It just really intrigues me of the energies that come out. I always do do a personal reading on myself before I go into um, the readings that are mostly associated with me and my sign. Okay, so for Virgos, for the Virgs, we have the inventor, the raccoon. Makes me think about Virgo being the uh, magician in the major arcana, the trickster, which is the magician <laughs> energy balance, Libra, Ooh, and then Leo, power, and these are major arcanas, material, spiritual prosperity at the bottom of the deck. Okay, you're waiting for something. Is it new love? I don't know. We're gonna find out in Virgo. Obstacles and go through challenges. So, and then you got wisdom. Virgo's all about wisdom. They're the hierophant of wisdom. The hierophant in, in hermit mode. Love begins. I'm gonna turn my cards towards me. It just gives me a headache sometimes when I'm upside down. Waiting for love. There's also got some challenges coming in, definitely. For this love that you are waiting for, Virgo. Um, we have material harvest. We have power. We have balance. It's going to take a lot of strength to be able to stabilize and balance these coming in energies for you guys. What I see here is Leo energy with material harvest here. This is about something coming into fruition that you have been working really, really hard at. Um, something that is taking a long time to come into fruition here with the waiting game right that's where i get that from and then we got the obstacle and challenges cards with um movement choices and decisions <laughs> so i believe that you hold the key to your own material and spiritual prosperity virgo as we all do right but with you more so it's the choices that you are making right now the movements and the decisions have everything to do with the final outcome of that that it is that you're wanting to create for yourself with that being said Going right into some tarot for the Virgs and clarifying all these cards to see what else a spirit would like to add to your story for you, Virgo. Okay, so spirit, when it comes to Virgo, what do we have? Okay, I'm with it. Love begins twice, Virgo. All right, materia and spiritual prosperity coming in the form of a soulmate for you guys that's the material harvest you're materializing love here in the 3d three of pentacles of power it takes a lot of power and strength to work through to balance out knowing that the scales are definitely they're becoming more balanced and more in alignment with your energy with the energy that you want it's all about changing your vibration and your energy here if you're going to be able to manifest six of cups this person's from the past they want to come back and reconcile with you um something you've been waiting for a really long time for queen of wands the waiting game they saw you transform from the anxiety ridden person who had power struggles who just had to work on yourself um life has been showing and, and teaching you that and i took that card i didn't want that card love begins seven of pentacles the lovers <laughs> with also goes and challenges and um out of my deck four of cups and king of pentacles 
is um it's your energy virgo virgo taurus capricorn you guys can be dealing with another earth sign like yourself with someone that is very financially set and well off someone that's very stable grounded um, very meticulous um, crosses the t's dots the i's is very patient this energy of this person here um, that you're dealing with so the inventor now we have you walking away from things that do not no longer serve you walking away from past love situations be it family be it friends you're working on building and materializing more prosperity in your life here planting the seeds today and sitting back watching the fruits of your labor waiting for something to manifest some of you guys it's just a waiting game you are definitely waiting period um obstacles and challenges leading up to love to this love story with this person that could possibly most likely be your twin flame that's gemini energy we also have cancer scorpio pisces aries leo sag and more virgo taurus capricorn on the table here and scorpio with the tower card so it's time to make decisions here maybe you might need to create your own tower moment to get to these and be able to materialize these things that it is that you're wanting for yourself that you wanted to materialize that's just the energy that's here for you 6 20 from o'clock friday it's beautiful friday june 25th 11 2 a.m and i'm six minutes 32 seconds into the three that's for me guys energy oracle i just want some overall energies of the situation of the cards that i have here virgo what do we have for verb the thinking woman journey and community okay Let's see if we get any jumpers here Door to romance, beautiful energies, beautiful cards. I'm liking it for you guys. I'm liking it a lot. So the door to romance is opening for you guys now. Maybe a time to get out into the community, make your first move, be bold, brave. Um, like the power energy um, of Leo strength. Like um, sitting aside all along, waiting for things to happen to come to you. Just sitting back, waiting. Is not the route to go here. You actually have to do the work, but it's here for you. You already know that Seven of Pentacles, doing the work, reflection, time to make the investment here now that's going to pay off for you guys in the future. It's coming your way. It's leading to true love here with someone that you could possibly even be having a ceremony of some sort with. This person could be a twin flame because I see here the journey card. That means that they are in your life for a reason. They're attached to your energy and your story for a reason. I want more tarot, more clarifiers. For the three, for very good. Okay. Don't forget, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Information is down below on how to do that. Nine of Cups, hey, new love coming in. You guys got a lot of love in this reading, Virgo, period. The World card again. I saw that a couple times, and I'm like, well, I'm just not going to grab it. I'm not going to take it. You got two knights and Nine of Cups, Knight of Wands. You've encountered a player at some point along your journey. You fell in love with this person. Maybe they created or some type of tower moment happened and took place with this person that caused you to feel that there's a lot of obstacles or challenges in the way of you being with this person things that are very very hard and challenging for you that's what i get that's what i get kind of pentacles they have you single but it made you find your strength what did that feel like two cards okay so well, of fortune, nine of pentacles. <laughs> and the four of wands, somebody here definitely has a twin flame at the mix and the works here. It's probably why you got so much drama around this connection and this person. There's a lot of work to be done. It's going to take a lot of strength in order to balance the scales out of the things that are taking place. But you can materialize this connection, this relationship with this person. If you do the work material and spiritual prosperity is here. 
right? If you do the work, um, if you're willing to walk away from past situations and things that did not serve you, um, soul searching here in search of love, looking for your plus one, um, running as players along the way is part of your mission, as part of your quest in this lifetime, in this journey, you know? And I can make it all make sense reflecting on these cards the spirit is giving me here. But you guys got new love here for you. Congratulations to whoever energy that is. Beautiful energy, if I do say so myself. Let's get a romance angel and see what we got coming in from the love angels. Romance angels, what do we have for Virgo? What messages do we have for Virgo concerning their love life? <laughs> This is love written all over this reading. I see nothing about anything else. This person could have been somebody you've worked with, someone you created a project with. Could be someone you still work with. Let go of control issues. <laughs> and it's a power struggle. I told you. See, we got it here. Three of Pentacles and power. Let go of power struggles, man. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. <laughs> Not laughing at you, Virgos. Laughing with y'all because... Mm -hmm. I am a Virgo and I do know about that energy. Pay attention to the red flags. With this power of human energy coming in, I'm going to pay attention to a lot of shit. About this reading, this person. Four of Wands. There's going to be a lot of stability created here. Um, the wheel is going to begin to turn in your favor as far as love and romance goes. So I don't know what you've been through in the past. With Ace of Cups here twice. The Nine of Pentacles. Single, independent, self-employed, most likely, but very attractive. That's pre-emperance energy. So you are manifesting here a lifetime of abundance, of fortune, and of luck. Setting yourself up really, really well for what's to come in the future for the family that you plan and choose and want to have for yourself. You're moving towards that energy. And you're looking really good while doing it. Queen of Wands energy. Very attractive. Very magnetic. A go-getter. Mrs. Attention Grabber or Mr. Right? Energy can be interchangeable. Kings, Kimmy Queens, and vice versa. Don't forget. Somebody needs to balance those emotions because you're putting yourself in situations that you're in a Four of Cups energy here. Feeling like you've had a missed opportunity, missing someone, your person. That could have been a player. You know, this person on this horse is taking off. You know, they're in a full stride. They are gone and going. And it's like you're sitting here missing this person. You're wondering when will they come back. I mean, is their energy going to be changed for some of you here? Now we got the Knight of Cups. Where's my wands? I just lost my little guy. These cards are legit annoying. <laughs> it's not here. He's not here. Here we go. Knight of Wands. See, I know he was here. Don't play. Do not play. Knight of Cups and Knight of Wands. I feel that it's either two different suitors you guys have that you're dealing with. That or you got somebody that came in as a player and fell in love. You know? They came in as a player here and fell in love. It took some time for this to happen. This did not happen overnight. You change this person's whole perspective and outlook on their life and where they see themselves going from here. They're healing and they are looking to get more control over the situation and control their emotions a little better around you. You make them nervous. <laughs> Free yourself. Flirts. Um, and religious factors. You make them nervous. I keep hearing that. Virgo, you make them nervous. What are you doing? <laughs> Um, extend your lighthearted energy to others and it is time to take back control of your life religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path when it comes to the twin flame some of you guys with the tower could be having um, paradigm shift meaning your whole life your whole world is going to change it's here for you. This is dismantling old belief systems. This is allowing for old foundations, situations, people to fall out of your life. Allow for that cyclic energy of, you know, clearance and getting rid of to come and happen and take place so that you can materialize what it is that you are trying to materialize for yourself. Movement, choices, and decisions. A lot of havoc is going to be caused around these situations and people will not feel like it's something that's cyclic that's going to keep happening and coming back into your experience until you handle it appropriately. For some of you. So. Let's get some Moonology cards here for Virgs. <laughs> Don't forget guys, if you need a personal private reading, the information is down below in the description box. Do not hesitate. <laughs> hmm. 
three cards. I keep looking at this. Thinking woman with community and daughter romance here. Hmm. Don't let your past hold you back. South node. Full moon and Sag. Look at the bigger picture and fixed moon. Hold your vision. <laughs> Some of you guys who don't see this as being your situation. If you think it's too good to be true, hold your vision. Look at the bigger picture. Um, believe in the impossible and continue to move towards the things that it is that you're wanting. I don't know what you're thinking so hard about these days, but if you're making plans to move forward here, um, it's about strategically planning what you're going to do and how you're going to move forward here. But this twin flame energy is back. So this time around, I see that you need to free yourself. You have some things going on in your energy, and it could be your person's energy too. Spirit could be picking up on it either way. You know, take it how it resonates for you, but that's what I see for you guys so far. Now, let me get some Kipper Oracle. About closing messages for my verbs. What do we have? Okay. <laughs> Unexpected income. Well, the fortune. Unexpected income. So somebody got some money coming from somewhere. You might want to go play the lottery. Play some scratch off tickets. <laughs> okay. Great fortune. Who are you guys? Somebody's going to come into a bag. You're going to be able to pay off some bills here. This is hard work and efforts paying it off here. For some of you guys, it's just pure luck. Play your numbers. Child. Some of you guys could have a child. Could be with child at the present moment. And you can have children with your person. Could be that you're getting children later in life with this person with great fortune. Unexpected income and try and the fortune cards all here. Family room, yep. <laughs> Marriage, okay. Right, so this person is speaking loud and clearly about you, about the connection, about what they want from you here. They see themselves as very fortunate to have met someone like you, to have come across your energy here. Even more than that, they see you as being someone who can mother their children. You know, free emperor's energy here. Uh, for some of you are, that are single, that don't have children, it's here for those of you that do. It's also here for you, however it resonates. So in the future, I see coming up for you guys. Um, look at the bigger picture. This person definitely wants to incorporate you into the family here. You know, they show up as official person. Um, someone that's a very, very mature king type energy, almost emperor I'm sensing. Someone that most likely has their own bag, their own business, that has money, is well off, is very well to do. So they can take care of their family really well. That's what they choose to do, right, with that energy. But it ends for you with marriage. It ends for you with marriage, Virgo. Congratulations. But whoever that works out for, for whatever story that is, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Information's down below. Do comment because I'm very responsive to you guys' comments. Thank you so much. Take care. Namaste.